In this video, we will be solving this complex uh, problem, which is saying that implement the Boolean expression, implement the Boolean expression using schema. So, just see the expression first, then I uh, will be going to draw the circuit. So, here how many inputs are there? So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 inputs are there. So, 8 uh, MOSFETs will be there. As it is asking using schema, so 8 into 8, uh, so 8 plus 8, there will be 16 MOSFET. So, actually this will clear your doubt for both uh, how to implement using CMOS, how to implement using NMOS and how to implement using PMOS. So, all the three things have been done in this one problem. Okay, so, what to follow? So, first to follow draw the NMOS and for the NMOS we know dot means series and plus means parallel and when you are doing for PMOS it will be opposite to that. So, remember always try to put the NMOS in the below side. So, confusion will be less, but you can put in the upper side also. So, that is not a problem. So, first how to solve it? So, first you start from this side, okay, 1 plus 1 plus 1, you go on adding this. So, first is what? A plus B I have to do. A plus B means what? It will be in parallel, okay. So, let me draw it here. So, if I draw it, uh, I will draw it below so that the uh, P MOS I can draw upside. Okay. So, I will take this is my A and one parallel with this I will take. This is my B and they are connected in parallel. Next is series with C dot uh, C and D, C plus D I will do it here in series, in series with what? In series with, so C plus D, so C and D I will do it in parallel, so this is C and this is D, okay. Then it is in series dot, so then it is in series, in series it what? E plus F, okay. That means E plus F, so I will do here E, and then I will do here F, this is my F and then plus again in parallel. So, one more parallel path is there, parallel with what? G dot H. So, in this parallel path there will be two MOSFET which is G and in series with your H. So, this will be your H, right? These are in parallel, so it will be connected like this. Okay. Now, E, F and this combination is whole in parallel. Uh, so, all are in one combination. So, I will be connecting it like this. Okay. So, this is my expression for what? A plus B. So, this is for, uh, for simplicity, I am just writing it here. So, this is for A plus B, then AND, then C plus D, then AND and here it is E plus F then plus G and H. So, this is, that is the complete combination of this Boolean expression. So, if the question asks, just draw the NMOS circuit, then what you can do? So, this side it will be your grounded and uh, <coughs> this side will be taking the output. If the question is only with NMOS, but it is not only with NMOS, so, we cannot do that. So, for, uh, again next part is what? Next part is how to implement the PMOS part. PMOS part is what? It is exactly opposite what we have done here. So, A and B were in parallel. So, what we will do? I will take A and B in series. Uh, let me draw it again. So, I will do A. So, for P MOS we have to take this bubble and then for B, this is A and B. They are in series or uh, in AND, num, AND or dot product with C and D, C and D in parallel. So, what we will do? A and B, so it was previously A and B dot C and D. So, in this case it was A parallel to B series with C parallel to D. 
for this is for n mos for p mos what i will do a series with b parallel c series with d that is what i am going to do first a series with b i have done and then they are in parallel with c and d so this is c and this will be your d c and d next is what so they are in series okay so this combination is in series with all these things so all these things what i'll do i'll just opposite it e and f in parallel so i'll make them in series okay so again they are they all are in connected in your series so this will be i'll taking this as e i'll be taking this as f so c e f and then g h were in series okay in this case now it will be in parallel because previously it was in series now it will be in parallel so i'll take here g and then here it will be h okay so this will be your combination and where to take the output the output will be taken from here this will be the common point and this will be your output okay let me just put it simple i did the while explaining i did like that so i'll just transfer all this little bit of this side so now the output will be connect this one and this one this will be your output and plus 5 volt will be connected here or positive voltage will be connected at this point so this is how you can implement logic gate using cmos so in this case you have understood how to implement using nmos how to implement using pmos as well in the exam if you can't remember about pmos how to do it in the rough you can draw this nmos circuit and then you can draw the pmos circuit so if you are clear about this particular problem then it will be easy you can solve any other problem because this is the complex one that i have solved here and eight gates are required so 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so eight gates are required for this so if you have any doubt you can just put on comment then i'll try to answer thank you